That's how I do. Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How is life in your world, wherever you are in this world right now? It's Monday after a long, long, long weekend. I traveled to um, some city in the northern part of Ohio. Cleveland, that's what it's called. Uh, up against the lake where Cedar Point is. We had a soccer tournament and um, I posted lots of pictures and I saw a lot of you um, giving hearts to Keeley's uh, team for their second place finish in that tournament was pretty amazing. We had teams from like Michigan and New York and of course Ohio and West Virginia and uh, the championship came down to two West Virginia teams. So <laughs> if nothing else, uh, the championship came home to West Virginia, which was pretty sweet. And um, it was, it was a long weekend, but the girls had a blast and that's really all I care about. I don't, not worried about, you know, what I was up to, but, um, also over the weekend I published a video and I published a video about this knife that I made, um, out of an old Hickory Farms, like one of those cheese ball knives that you get with one of those crappy sets. And, uh, this turned out awesome. Like I'm really excited about how it functions. I'm really excited about the form of it. This handle is the correct shape and all of that. So I'm turned out great and um, good responses on that video. So a couple of project videos in a row have had decent response. I'm going to try and keep that train rolling for the foreseeable future. I would like to set myself a goal of saying that I will do one new project every week, but uh, whether that goal is achievable or not will be to be determined. I have a lot going on in my life right now that is uh, amazing and I don't know that uh, I'll be able to maintain focus on things like this when there are much um, more important things to focus on. So uh, this week I've been back working on the, the lettering templates again. I, I So many iterations of this faceplate. I got one that works and I did cut out a letter. I think I showed this to you already. I don't remember if I did. Too bad, you go get it again. I got a really perfect V cut in this uh, piece of ancient pine. This is actually really hard because it's so old. And uh, so now the goal is to actually make a sign. And uh, the one thing I didn't like about this particular template is that there's no dust port. And the way that the base plate of this router is made, there's really no room for one. This bushing takes up almost the entirety of this um, base. So the only place that dust could come out is these two little slots, which on the original base plate slot up inside of this housing and you could put a edge guide in there. Well, I've reprinted a base plate now with holes where those edge guides are. So there's at least some sort of an eject hole in the bottom and we will see, we'll see if that performs at all. If it does, um, then I actually have a thought that I might try to print one of these with a vacuum attachment. There's a little scoop out on the back of this uh, base. And if I make this just a little bit thicker, I could thin it down on the backside and actually bring a, a hose attachment out to um, provide some active chip removal. But we'll see. Cutting that V, I used a down spiral, or no. I used a uh, two flute bit. I don't have a down spiral bit and um, Ace Hardware didn't have one that day. So I just used a two flute and it worked well, but it did jam up quite a bit of sawdust in the slot and I'd like to not have that happen. So I need to get either a down spiral bit uh, or figure out a way to make some better active extraction. Thus, we are trying yet another base plate. So theoretically, um, There'll be a video about this project up very soon. I've done, I've taken, I don't know how much GoPro footage of these templates and, and base plates and all this stuff being printed. There's a pile of plastic over there. And so I have to find like decent GoPro footage to piece together into something because I really haven't done a whole lot of footage of me testing iterations. And, or maybe I have actually. 
I don't know. I'll have to go look at the folder. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be maybe a different style of video where I tell you what I'm doing and show it to you because otherwise, there's not a story to tell with me trying all these screw ups. I don't know. We'll figure that out when it gets there. But that's the plan. Um, but I got lots of stuff to do here. The grass is hideous right now because it's been raining uh, quite a bit and I was out of town all weekend. So rain and warm weather and me not able to maintain it means that um, it looks like a jungle outside. I have to get that fixed. But tonight uh, we have to go to soccer again. An hour drive to Uniontown, PA for our travel league game. It's going to be fun. And um, yeah, I think that's what I've got for you today. I, I I have uh, three ideas banked for the remainder of this week, so I'm going to try and pepper in some of the new stuff. We'll see if I actually get to do it. Thank you for being here. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being my bestest friends. You really do make me feel special, and uh, I love having you around. So I will see you again tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from innerbody.com. Why is the left lung smaller than the right lung? The left lung is slightly smaller than the right lung because two thirds of the heart is located on the left side of the body. The left lung contains the cardiac notch, an indentation in the lung that surrounds the apex of the heart. Each lung consists of several distinct lobes.